Many companies still struggle with IT asset problems every day. Um, think about this. A new employee starts, excited for their first day, but there's no laptop ready for them. IT scrambles to find one, only to realize that some laptops are lost, some are outdated, and no one knows where the rest are. Meanwhile, finance looks at IT spending and wonders why so much money is being spent on new devices. Where did all the laptops go? The problem? There is no clear process for managing IT assets. Businesses need a structured approach to track, maintain, and retire devices properly. This is Asset Lifecycle Management, or ALM. Asset Lifecycle Management is basically the life story of every IT asset. From the moment it's bought to the day it's retired. Every IT asset goes through five key stages. Planning. Deciding what IT assets are needed. Procurement. Buying and tracking the assets. Deployment. Setting them up and assigning them to employees. Maintenance. Keeping them secure and running smoothly. Disposition. Retiring or recycling them when they're no longer useful. But wait, what exactly is an IT asset? If you're not sure, check out our last video in the description below. Now, let's follow a laptop's journey and see what really happens in each stage. Phase 1. Deciding what laptops are needed. Before ordering new laptops, IT first asks, do we actually need one? Or is there a perfectly good device sitting unused? Storage rooms tend to be black holes. Let's check before we buy. Okay, then how? 1. Check inventory. If laptops are collecting dust, they get reassigned. If stock is low, IT decides how many to buy because nobody wants to hear, sorry, we're out. 2. Pick the right specs. A designer needs power, a sales rep needs portability, and no one wants a laptop that freezes every five minutes. 3. Set the budget. EIT and finance balance costs, warranties, and hiring needs to avoid overspending now or regretting it later. 4. Ensure security. Every device must meet company standards for encryption and remote management because a fancy laptop is useless if it's a security risk. Once everything checks out, IT places the order through an ERP system to keep things on track. No surprise bulk orders allowed. So the planning is done and IT is ready to place the order. Phase 2. Buying and tracking the laptops. How come this even needs a procedure? Because let's be real, ordering laptops isn't like ordering pizza. You can't just say, one large laptop with extra RAM, please, and expect it to show up in 30 minutes. Instead, IT goes through a whole process to make sure the right devices are ordered, tracked, and actually delivered on time. Because let's not forget, shipments have a habit of getting lost in transit. What actually happens? Order placed. IT submits a purchase order through the ERP system to track costs and approvals. Shipment tracked. IT monitors delivery with a tracking number and hopes it doesn't vanish in transit. Order verified. When the laptops arrive, IT checks everything matches the purchase order because no one wants to open a box expecting laptops and find monitors. Laptops tagged and logged. Every device gets a barcode or RFID tag and is added to the IT asset management system for tracking, stored or assigned. Some laptops go straight to employees while others wait in inventory for future deployment. Okay, the laptops have arrived, tagged and logged. Now it's time for deployment setting up and assigning laptops. Here's how it's supposed to go. 1. Retrieve from inventory. IT pulls the laptops from storage using the IT asset management system like AssetLoom, making sure nothing accidentally disappears. 2. Employees request. Workers reserve devices via the IT portal, and IT assigns them. No more. Hey, did we already give Mark a laptop? 3. Log the handoff. IT updates the system with who got what, when, and if it's permanent or temporary, so no one can say, I never got it. 4. Deliver and set up. On-site staff get laptops handed over with a quick check. Remote workers receive pre-configured devices by mail, ready to go. 5. Loaner system. Need a laptop for a short-term project? The company's laptop booking system lets employees reserve one complete with pickup and return schedules because IT doesn't have time to chase down missing devices. The laptops are assigned, logged, and in employees' hands. So, IT's job is done, right? 
not even close. Because once a laptop is in use, things start happening, updates pile up, security patches get ignored, and someone, somewhere, is about to say, it was working fine yesterday. Welcome to the maintenance phase, keeping laptops running smoothly. What IT does to keep laptops running? Monitor performance. IT tracks battery health, storage, and system performance. If something's off, automated alerts notify IT before disaster strikes. Keep software updated. Security patches, OS updates, and antivirus scans happen before employees hit remind me later for the 100th time. Preventive maintenance. IT replaces batteries, upgrades storage, and fixes small issues before laptops crash mid-meeting. Remote troubleshooting. Most problems are fixed remotely because no one actually wants to bring their laptop to IT. Loaner devices. If a laptop needs repairs, IT provides a temporary replacement so no one's left scrambling. With regular maintenance, laptops last longer, perform better, and cause fewer IT headaches. Well, unless someone spills coffee all over their keyboard, and that's the problem for the next phase to resolve. Securely retiring and recycling laptops. Now it's time to deal with the coffee-soaked laptop. But not every laptop meets its end in such a dramatic way. Some just become too slow to keep up. Others cost more to fix than to replace. And some, well, they just mysteriously disappear. Whatever the reason, the IT team has to handle it properly. Here's what happens next. Evaluate the laptop's condition. It checks if it can be repaired, reassigned, or replaced, or if it's just begging to retire. Securely wipe data. Before anything leaves the company, IT erases all sensitive information, so there's no risk of a data breach. Decide its fate, refurbish and reassign. If it still works, clean it up and give it to someone else. Donate. Schools and nonprofits can always use working devices. Recycle. If it's beyond saving, dispose of it responsibly. Deactivate lost or stolen devices. Because yes, someone always loses a laptop. With proper disposition, businesses stay secure, reduce e-waste, and avoid that one storage closet full of ancient, unusable tech. And just like that, the laptop's journey is complete until I gets a new shipment, and the cycle starts all over again. Now you understand how ALM helps manage cloud resources efficiently. Let's recap the five key stages. Planning, figuring out what assets your business needs. Procurement, buying and tracking assets the smart way. Deployment, setting up and assigning devices hassle-free. Maintenance, keeping assets updated, secure, and working smoothly. Disposition, retiring, reusing, or recycling old devices responsibly. And that's asset lifecycle management. A structured way to manage your IT assets efficiently. Follow us to learn more about IT asset management. Thank you for watching and see you next time.